information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Waging war on corruption. Look, here's my bottom line. We're going back to Steve, Mark, and many others. Todd, Assam, and Holland, Cole, Michael, Victor, Daniel. We'll get to all of you. If the West was moral and trying to put in a good government there, I would go with George Washington and say it, it, it's still, it, you know, we shouldn't be in foreign entanglements. But if we liberated North Korea, I'd kind of probably get behind it. But not if it was going to cause a nuclear war. The Russians are not as dirty as the globalists now. And, and the Russians are pretty darn bad, folks, their government. I'm not romanticizing it, but I've studied it. The New World Order has conquered us, is what I'm saying. They now want to be able to take down Syria. They're very mad that six months ago that got derailed. Uh, and But go back to 2008 with the Georgia situation, where the Russians rolled in with the troops and NATO backed off. Uh, I understand it's a diversionary tactic. Also, politically, it's diversionary from a lot of stuff going on with, uh, inside the EU. But we were talking to Steve, who is former naval intelligence, and you hear how smart he is. So next time you hear Bill Maher make fun of the military or Henry Kissinger call them dumb, stupid animals and stuff, in my experience, military people, even if they're folks that were enlisted, know more than the general public because they've lived inside of it. That's why we're taking military calls today. We haven't gotten any calls yet from Russia or from Ukraine. But I don't try to get calls from there. I actually get calls from there, but we're not getting those calls. Steve, make other points about where you see this going. And the question of the moral issue, 
I mean, they're going to put people even worse into the Ukraine now. I mean, that's pretty bad. Absolutely. Let me make a couple of more points and then I'll uh, get off the phone first. <clears throat> the SEALs uh, have been infiltrating, like I said, the Crimean area. Uh, Rostov on Don is a very important uh, target. Uh, what they're doing is reconnaissance for nuclear targets. The, uh, the NATO forces are trying to, and politically also the State Department, they want the Soviets to do a first strike nuclear hit. Because what the retaliation is going to be, and, and I know based on the war game scenarios, there's four or five uh, missile submarines with the task force with the, with the George Bush. And what they want to do is they're going to hit the targets that the SEALs have been uh, reconning since 2010. But they can't hit those targets until the Russians launch tactical nukes first in the Ukraine. NATO doesn't care about the Ukraine. That's a throwaway country for them. And if they can obliterate it, then they can bottle up the uh, Black Sea Fleet by uh, doing nuclear strikes on the strategic targets. Then they can't get out. And then the they'll marshal plan it and make hundreds of billions, quote, rebuilding it. Yes. But it's important to remember what unit they're trying to bottle up. In South Ossetia, you had the 76th Air Mobile Division, which is one of the very first Russian divisions made up of all the highly trained volunteers. There's no conscripts in that division. And that division was earmarked for Syria uh, a few months ago. If they've got them bottled up in a conflict in Crimea, then they can't go down and fight in Syria. And you're going to have al-Qaeda force just like before with uh, Western advisors, usually Australian and British SAS, are going to lead these guys through Syria. When Syria falls, you've got Iran's flank. We can go straight into Iran because the Israelis are going crazy wanting to attack Iran, and that's the, that's the final attack. Sure, sure, and I totally agree with your analysis spot on. So, so how does it all end? It ends, uh, if it follows the war game, that we're going to be uh, launching on the Crimea and the Ukraine area with uh, nukes to bottle up the Black Sea Fleet so we can do other things in other area, in areas, namely Syria and Iran. That's the end game. Now, undoubtedly, the Russians understand all this. What They may do something unorthodox and move with a gambit. Well, you know, that's where the Chinese come in. They're, uh, they're going to talk the Chinese into helping them and flank around uh, where NATO blocking forces are. That's where the Chinese come in. And uh, the Chinese, you know, as everybody knows, can be bribed. And that's how it works. What do you as a father think of this? Well, I hope that, uh, that I'll be – I have a copy of Joel Skousen's Strategic Relocation – and uh, I have a place in the strategically safe zones in the Ozark. Probably close to you, Alex. It's just incredible. But again, this would be bad enough if we were trying to actually sell freedom over there. They're trying to go over there and, and, and sell Hollywood and, and, and putting little boys in dresses and breaking up families. And I, I mean, it, it's just so crazy that I don't think all the liberals and all the politicos and all the fake intelligence people really get how much danger they're in. I mean, this might not end at just some tactical nuke war. This could end with just the destruction of humanity. Well, you've heard the old uh, saying, these people that are running uh, our society, uh, they're shooting for uh, the person with the most toys wins. They're looking for world domination and don't care how many of us sheep that they kill, Alex. And that's the bottom line. What was your information on Georgia? What happened with that? Because Russia rolled in the medium-range mobile nuke launchers, said we're going to start hitting NATO targets, and NATO backed out. They wanted to see which units would deploy to South Ossetia because uh, from the Western intelligence, they knew that they would send their best uh, troops. It was also 76th Division. That's how uh, the West made the assessment of which unit to isolate with their next phase, which was Crimea. And that's exactly the unit that was sent there, the 76th Air Mobile. Sure, but uh, you know division. the Russians are going to have yep. other elite units in reserve. Well, they've got Spetsnaz, but Spetsnaz are your, your special operators. They're just, uh, they're, they're not primary uh, combat formation. What about this situation? Well, you know Europe, right? England, and the United States are penetrated with Russian sleeper agents. Do you expect them Absolutely. to activate? Alex, I'll tell you something. Uh, probably two years before I retired, one of those agents sat at a, de a desk next to me. He's in Leavenworth now. Our military is completely penetrated by Russian agents, and usually American guys 
that uh, the, that the Russians send hot blondes to try and uh, bring them over to their side. Oh, believe me, it's I know. Amazing what happens when you have a hot girlfriend uh, who has that sexy little Russian accent, isn't it, Alex? I've had them send. I've had the Russians send hot blondes at me twice. There you go. That's how it works. I had a guy sitting at a desk right next to me, career guy, lieutenant commander, had a wife and family, and the Russian girlfriend was his downfall. He's sitting in a prison for the rest of his life. Wow. Yeah. There's no telling how compromised uh, our uh, our strategic planning is. No telling. Well, that's my point, is that even if it was moral, it's it's like a Mexican standoff. But, I mean, our country is is rotting. The globalists are a bunch of just, uh, I mean, it, it's so dangerous. I don't think, do you agree with me this is incredibly dangerous and the public has no idea how much danger we're in? Absolutely. But they're making, they're making decisions uh, based on uh, analysis of what they think they're going to be able to get away with. And they're trying to pin the Russian military down in the Crimea sure. so that they can hit Syria Iran. Iran's the, the main thing because the Israelis are screaming. They're going crazy wanting to hit Iran right now. And the Saudi Well, Saudi what about this? Saudi I was told I was told by a high level military officer and confirmed with some special forces people I know have given me good information in the past. Their word is Iran's had nukes for years. Absolutely. So why, why do, do the Israelis so want to hit them now? Sending, why do you think it's so scary that they're deploying uh naval cruisers to their new bases in Venezuela? The Iranians want to zap us with EMP. That's their main goal. This is That's insane. They made something in our atmosphere. All you right. Yes, I'm talking about that. No, oh, I know. It's just, it's. I just want to live my life. And and, and again, if, if our government was trying to promote family and private property and stuff, it'd be bad enough. That our government is so illegitimate, run by all these globalist interests. And I, I just hope, you know, Dempsey and others did go to Obama and tell him, don't attack. Uh, Syria, but but I guess you're saying that was just, they said, give us time. Uh, I, I mean, do you have any information on what happened there? Dempsey made a deal, like you said, uh, and Obama said, all right, we're going to back off now, but we're going to go forward with what was war gamed in 08 at the War College, and uh, that's our new... Of course, there's multi-scenarios with every war gaming strategy, but Obama, as what he told Dempsey then was... Uh, we're going ahead with this, but we're going to go in a different area. We're going to block the Russians, and perhaps that'll prevent any uh, collateral damage in the CONUS, the continental United States. Uh, there were two plans. The Very interesting. Very <laughs> interesting. Well, God bless you. Appreciate that call. More calls from veterans coming up. Military intelligence. <laughs> Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom.